Mate, good sesh. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm tired. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on, 1020? I hope you're all super well. It is Monday morning, and man, it's so weird to think that this Sunday will be the end of the 365 day challenge. That means there's six more days. It's absolutely crazy. I've been documenting this journey for the past 359 days. For everyone that's been following, whether it's a day, a week, or the whole 359 days, I just wanna say thank you to you guys for watching the videos, whether it's once a week, twice a week, every single video, whatever it is, I just want to say thank you for the support. It's so weird that, yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's all coming to an end. It's weird. So today I have a couple of things planned. Number one being I'll be meeting up with Jay to get a session in. We're going to go to Melwood. No idea what we're going to do. Maybe some passing, dribbling, that sort of stuff. I really have no idea what is planned. All right, no idea what this is. Actually, no, I know exactly what it is. It's from Pro Direct. Now, I do coaching, as you guys know, and I'm really running out of footballs, so I ordered myself some size four Nike balls. They're just the cheap ones. I wouldn't use these personally to train myself, but hey. So I got six of those, and there should be... No, it seems like there's nothing else in here. Maybe they'll come sometime soon. What I did order as well is some football socks. You guys know I like the shorter socks and no, they're not in this one. Maybe they're coming in another package. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to make sure that I give my players the best session possible and that means having balls there and available whilst we're training. The second thing is I'll be meeting up with a very old school friend. We weren't super close mates, but we were mates in schools. Alex Hayes, if you guys don't know him, make sure you go to the description below, check out his YouTube stuff, check out his Instagram. He is absolutely sick. I think he has something like 680,000 followers. He's been in Logan Paul's music video, he's been in his vlogs. That's cool and all, but at the end of the day, he's just a really nice guy. He has so much insight, and I think we have a lot in common. We're both so driven to achieve our goals. I think that's sick, and I love meeting up with like-minded people, so can't wait for him to come over. We're going to be filming an Ask Tweety as well. Make sure you check that one out. There's going to be so much value in it. I'll also get him on this vlog. All right, we got the man, Alex Hayes. Hey. How you going, bro? Good, man. How you doing? Good Thanks good. for having me on the show. Oh, it's all right. We just filmed an Ask Tweety. Yes, we did. Now, we used to be, like, what? I wouldn't say we we're close, close friends. We used to be school. buds in school. Yeah. Like, we would walk home school together. Was a, school was a hard little process for, for people like us. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I think we all came together and now look at us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's sick. Like, we faced a lot of the same problems at school. Yeah, and, definitely. Um, I think we both go from that. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. Look at where we are now. You've got to grow, exactly. I love, and I always say to people, because if you guys don't know, I was bullied a lot in school. Yes, yeah, sir. Alex was as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, but I wouldn't have changed it at all. Yeah, no. If no, I had it any I other way. Have, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. 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 I would have, because I think it's only made me mentally stronger. Yeah. And now, yeah. if I went back and they said, all right, do you want to do schools differently? I was like, no way. I want, I want it maybe even worse. Yeah. Because then, it's all now, about mental strength. building thick skin. Yeah. So, thick skin. Alex is a content creator. Yeah. What, what do you do? So, I do a lot of high adrenaline stuff, like lifestyle, um, surfing, skydiving, skate, everything that kind of gets your heart pumping. I make videos oh. on um, traveling a lot. Yeah. I really enjoy making videos that inspire people to go outside and you know do what they want to do, so that's what I'm all, all about. So let's get a flashback, I guess we call it, to one of Alex's videos. 16 hours later, we've made it to South Africa. South Africa. That's a pretty sick vid. Thank you. I, I rate the stuff you do, man. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> now, what's one piece of advice you can leave these guys with? One piece of advice. One thing that I like to say to myself is that if everyone's training to be the same sort of person, which is, you know, I think was what schools give us that mindset to do, mm. it's like if everyone's trying to be the same, why don't you just take a different approach and do something that you feel is right and take a different approach because you'll probably end up coming on top in the end. So Yeah, we'll, we'll just do, just about do what that. you want to do. Like, follow your intuition. Yeah. Like, just follow your intuition and what feels right. I love it. it. Just being different. Everyone's yeah. in football. Not, everyone's... Being, not being different, just be you. Yeah, exactly. Even like, better. 
Because a lot of people, especially in this football world and life, but if we're narrowing it down to this audience, yep. they're told this is how you pass the ball. Yeah. This is how you shoot. And like, you know, you should be running on the field the whole time. Why don't you just chill out for a little bit, take yeah. a step back and then see the whole game unfold in front of you. You'll be able to read it better and yeah. see what happens, you know? It's you become the master of the game, bro. So true. The mentality in football and life, mm-hmm. it's massive. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's all about. Thanks for coming down, man. Yeah, thank you, Dad. Appreciate we'll it. We'll catch you around. Yeah. Love it! Yes! So we've arrived down at the park, we've got the man, the myth, the legend, Jay, on? mate, how you going? I'm good, how are you? It's been a long time no see. Well, last time was with Pat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, that night. That's Pat been Melly. wild, man. Yeah, was... What have you been up to? Uh, I've been playing. Got about three weeks left for my season. And right. Then it'll be uh, off-season again. So. Yeah, off-season. I'm looking to get a good pre-season in. Yeah, I'm looking same. forward to it. But right now, we've got a session. Yeah. What do you think? Passing? everything yeah. yeah a bit of shooting as well yeah definitely you can see my shooting improved <laughs> you, you'll be ready for it or maybe we can also go for a two touch record again what did we get one oh. 150 or 180 i think we got yeah i think it was like 150 something yeah something like, maybe we can go for a record i don't know we'll see we have no idea what we're gonna do we'll work something out looking forward to it fun. jay's back. back back in the vlogs man yeah. loving it I think that's decent. I'll take it. I'll take 160. Woo. If you guys can beat our score of 160, send in the video, put it on YouTube, put my name, whatever, send it to me with a partner, you'll win a free dribbling program. Woo. 160. Woo. That's decent. Good work, bro. Right. Chemistry's still there, mate. So obviously you're at Crawley Town under 23s with me. If you guys don't know even who Jay is, like you need to go watch. Back. Yeah, go back. Like go back day to the vlogs. <laughs> yeah, go back to the vlogs. I might have longer hair back then though. Yeah, That's the only thing. you would have. Now, <laughs> you've seen the game videos that I've been posting. Yeah. What are your thoughts between the difference of that 
standard and league and level yeah. compared to the Crawley Town under 23s level? I, from what I've seen here, and also watching your videos, yeah. I'd probably put that that team at Crawley Town under 23s would be pretty competitive, in my opinion, in about MPL one first grade standard mm. here. So obviously a few few levels higher than what, what we're playing at here at the moment. Well, that's like four levels higher than five. A lot of levels higher than me. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, uh, here they in the level I'm playing at, and obviously looking at Shotter's videos, they're playing a lot of long ball. Mm. Um, and it's not so much on the ground, and obviously in the fields you're playing on the, um, the farms. Yeah, pl <laughs> playing playing on the ground isn't really much of an option. No, yeah. and I think it's so different. Yeah, and to be able to adapt to that, it is difficult. And also, like one thing you wouldn't even think about is the weather here. Hot. It's been hot. Sure. Back. Yeah, the last game we played, it was hot. So uh, the last, like in all of my games recently, the the last ten minutes is really interesting. Decided it. That's something I've never thought about. Yeah. yeah. Because in England, we're obviously playing in, or well, playing and training in snow, yeah. rain, yeah. freezing cold weather. Yeah. And we come back here. That's something I haven't thought it's about. It's a lot That's more humid. Yeah. Yeah. So there's definitely a gap between the Crawley Town under 23s yeah. and the standard we're playing at now. Yeah. And I think we both know we're going to be moving up next season. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Those are the plans, man. Yeah. I can't wait to you know get into that. I love playing possession-based football. Yeah. Keeping the ball, looking to switch it. Yeah. That's what I love. Yeah. So. Good. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, you're in the same team, maybe. Oh yeah. That maybe. Or we'll play against each other, maybe. Possibly. Who knows? We'll so, see. yeah. How's this vlog ends on Sunday? It's crazy. Yeah. Now, we're gonna leave Jay. Enjoy the rest of your day. What are you up to? I've got coaching tonight. Oh, nice. Well, football, 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 man. I'm going home. Ladies, man. Good okay. sesh. See you. Good to see you guys. Dinner. Woo! It's looking good. Now, Claire. Yes. You took my recommendation. Well, you kind of stole my dish a little bit. You put gnocchi in. Yes, I put gnocchi in. Yeah. Do you reckon it's gonna be better? We'll see. We're going to try it out tonight. Well, what's in it? We got cheese. Uh, spinach, feta cheese, um, sour cream, uh, shivapi sausage. Damn. Gnocchi cheese. And then the That's zucchini it. and onion on the side. Yep. Looks good. Thank you, Claire. Pleasure. All right, now we got the other package. I don't know why it came separately. It makes no sense. But finally, finally, I have some new... Nike socks. I've been wanting these for a while because all my other ones, yeah, they kind of got holes in them. I have no idea how good these ones are. They, I may as well put them on, right? All right, first thoughts, they're pretty comfy. They go up to here, which is pretty good, you know, maybe a little bit lower to there would be nice. But hey, I'm not gonna complain about something small like that. So these are pretty good, definitely better than my broke ones. I got three of them from Pro Direct, I'm pretty sure it's called. Yeah, Pro Direct, they're Nike. Oh, these are feeling good. And I got black because, I don't know, I just feel like, I feel better in black socks. So with dinner done, it's now time to head off to the gym, get a session in there. I'll show you guys as much as I possibly can. I'm looking forward to the deadlifts. I reckon I can hit 120 for four reps. We'll see how I go, but I'm looking forward. I really think I'm starting to put on weight and mass power. I think I'm only going to get better from here. All right, let's keep this commentary short and sharp. My bum is way too high on that plank. I need to lower that. Side planks looking good on either side, but yeah, that front plank, man. This is why I video myself, so I can analyze not just my football performances, but you know my gym performance as well. This was 120 kg for four. These last two I was really struggling and I don't think this last one, yeah, I hunched over on the top there. So that last rep wasn't the best. Needed to just push that one out here. Bit of Russian deadlift, single leg with a kettlebell. And then to finish off some weighted push-ups. This was 15 kilos this time, so a little bit harder. Can't let those gains go to waste. Now I gotta head home. I've had a little bit of chocolate milk out of this that I bought. Now I'm gonna go home and make up that smoothie bowl. So let's get to that. So important to make sure you have food after your training sessions. Otherwise, the gains go to waste. I'm really loving this bowl and then just putting the honey in it. I mean, you get little chunks of honey 
but I think it just makes this so much easier to eat. Smoothie bowl completed. All right, smoothie bowl done, gym done. It's time for me to head off to bed and get some rest. My legs are feeling like jelly. My chest is feeling good. My whole body's feeling good after that workout. Now tomorrow, another double session, sprinting, and then team training at night, putting in that work, putting in the grind, and just being patient as well. You know, things don't come easy. Patience is almost more important than the hard work. If you're impatient with the process, and you don't love the process, then you're only going to go so far. And I feel like I'm being pretty patient. So we'll see what happens in the future. It was awesome to meet up with Alex this morning, meet up with Jay as well. It was like a super day. So I'm going to head off to bed. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. 10 tweet, I'll sign out. Make sure you leave a like on the subscribe around here. Join Jenny Elsa around. Bye. Listen.